Commissioner Lambrew and I are pleased to be able to join you all this to provide an update on where we stand with respect to COVID-19 for the entire state of Maine for today, Thursday, March 11th, 2021. Right now in Maine, there are a total of 46,441 cases of COVID-19, an increase of 187 cases since yesterday. Of those cases, 36,221 are confirmed, 10,220 are probable cases. Cumulatively, over the past year, 1,585 people have been hospitalized. And right now in the state, 70 people are in the hospital. 23 of them are in the critical care unit with COVID-19, and nine of them are on a ventilator. Overall, 723 people have died with COVID-19. Turning to testing for just a moment, our seven-day PCR positivity rate now stands at 1.52% across the entire state. And our PCR testing volume is at 592 tests for every 100,000 people. Similarly, our antigen positivity rate now stands at 4.25% with a volume for antigen tests of 137 for every 100,000 residents in Maine. Next, a few updates on where we stand with respect to vaccinations and vaccines. Let's start with vaccinations. Cumulatively, Maine has now delivered 463,877 vaccine doses of COVID-19. Of those, 293,566 are first doses and 170,311 are second doses. Maine has been working to increase the shots per arm that we deliver every single day. Indeed, yesterday alone, we set a record for the number of doses that we administered across the state. 17,651, a new high mark for us. Over a seven day period, Maine is delivering approximately 12,612 doses every day on a seven day basis. We've got more work to do to expand that number, but we are trending in the right direction. And finally, we received our final losses that Maine has been allocated by the federal government for vaccines that will be delivered to our state next week. Overall, there are 34,020 doses of vaccine that will be delivered to the state for our allocation. Of those, 18,720 are doses of Pfizer vaccine and 13,700 are doses of Moderna vaccine. A few hours ago, we, we learned that we would also be receiving a small allocation of Johnson & Johnson vaccine, 1,600 doses to be exact. Those sum to that 34,020 number that I mentioned a moment ago. But I think it's important to put that number in perspective. Overall, across the state, that is only 520 doses more than we received last week. Now we're thankful to have additional doses. And we understand that later in the month or in the month of April, the nationwide supply will increase perhaps even significantly. But for right now, and for the week ahead of us, Maine will be only receiving 520 more doses next week than we received this week. There are other channels of allocation places that will be receiving vaccine directly from the government, separate and apart from the allocation that comes directly to the state of Maine. Those are places like retail pharmacies, as well as increasingly federally qualified health centers. We usually learn about what those facilities will be receiving a few days from now. But as to what the state of Maine will be receiving for our allocation and distribution, it's about 520 more doses next week than this week. We hope that in the coming weeks, that number goes up from 520 new doses to several, several fold more. 
But for now, we will do the best we can with the doses that are being allocated and work in a manner to allocate them fairly and equitably across the entire state. Finally, I'd like to take a moment to step back and think about where we are as a state. 